I walk. I walk. I walk. I walk. Because Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the nation. I walk because the direct cost of Alzheimer's and related dementia is greater than any other condition in the United States, including heart disease and cancer. I walk to end Alzheimer's. We walk together because there are currently more than 2,300 people in Sheboygan County living with Alzheimer's disease. Hi, my name is Cal Dressel, and about four years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's disease. And uh, because of this shocking uh, diagnosis, I, I really didn't tell anybody, my friends or family. Probably the biggest fear that I have would be uh, the memory loss. We all have great memories of what went on before, and uh, that's why I would encourage you to join me for the walk to end Alzheimer's and make memories for yourself as a family. Thank you. We walk to support thousands of family caregivers living in Sheboygan County and across Wisconsin. Alzheimer's disease takes a devastating toll, not just on those with the disease, but also on their caregivers. I walk to end Alzheimer's because my mother-in-law, Cheryl, is living with mild cognitive impairment. My life as a family caregiver has been enhanced by education programs and support programs offered by the Alzheimer's Association. Being a caregiver can be stressful at times, and you need to learn how to take care of yourself so that you can take care of your loved ones. I'm proud to say that the dollars raised by the Wealth to End Alzheimer's stays in our community to benefit people like Cheryl and my entire family. We walk to accelerate research for a treatment, prevention, and a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Currently, there are no survivors. Well, and uh, Helen first uh, was uh, diagnosed in 2005. We arranged a trip to Hawaii, and she must have asked me a hundred times, where are we going? And that was really the first time that it was really obvious that something was wrong. The Alzheimer's Association has been a big help to lots of people. It, they help not only the person that's afflicted with Alzheimer's, but the caregivers, and the caregivers need lots of support, uh, more than I would have ever imagined when I got into this thing. My name is Patty, and I lost my husband of 15 years to the disease of Alzheimer's. For 10 years, our marriage was very, very good. And then he started to do things that were totally unusual that he did. And I, um, I didn't understand it. And then finally when the doctor told me that he had Alzheimer's, I went for help. When he was so sick at the nursing home, I came and I danced with him. And all of a sudden he just dropped my arms and he started dancing by himself and then I just realized deep in my heart that it was over, that the man I loved and the man I knew was gone. I participated in the walk to end Alzheimer's last year as the first year, but I intend to do it from now on every year. We walk because if we do nothing to change the trajectory of this devastating disease, there will be a 52% projected increase in the number of individuals living with Alzheimer's disease in Sheboygan County by 2030. I have a personal connection with Alzheimer's. My father-in-law passed away after battling this disease for over 10 years. And as we speak, my father is in hospice care after battling this disease for the, approximately the same amount of time. I'm a business owner in this community, and I understand the critical importance of, of providing funding and resources for the people that, that live and work in our community. That's why I'm a personal supporter of the Alzheimer's Association. It's why my business is a proud supporter of the walk to end Alzheimer's. We walk because we are all connected. Look around and you will find someone you know who has been impacted by Alzheimer's disease. My name is Scott and in 2008 my grandma was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She couldn't remember my name, where I was from, or how old I was. I felt like a little piece of me died inside. When her fight ended with Alzheimer's, my fight began. Last year I was able to raise $1,500 for my walk to end Alzheimer's disease because I wasn't afraid to use my voice telling my story to anyone who is willing to listen. There are more than five million living reasons why you should become involved in the Walk to End Alzheimer's. They go by the names of mom or dad, grandma or grandpa, 
husband or wife, brother or sister, neighbor or friend. Together, we can end all time. Join me in this fight. Walk with me, Sheboygan County. Register or start a team. Invite a friend, family member, or coworker, because you can help make a difference. Let's make a stand and end this epidemic.